Good evening, I'm Mandy Knoll. We begin tonight with breaking news as a judge has allowed Malik Richmond to play football for YSU this weekend. In a response to Malik Richmond's lawsuit, YSU stated, no good deed goes unpunished. Dave Sess explains the decision after today's court hearing. It's our top story tonight at 10. Malik Richmond walked out of court today knowing he could put on a red helmet and play for YSU as long as the coach thinks he's good enough to be on the field. The only comment is that Malik has been working very, very hard, practicing every day, and he's excited about Saturday's game, and we're very pleased with the result. His lawyers won a temporary restraining order allowing him to play. The university said that he couldn't participate in games this season after protests started when people found out he was on the team. Richmond was found guilty while he was a juvenile of sexual assault. The university argued that Coach Pelini can be trumped under Ohio law by the president of the university. Malik's lawyer argued that the president can't go against the student handbook. He was promised things and learned through a press release that he was going to be denied those promises. And they did not follow their handbook. They just essentially punished him without any notice, without a hearing, without being able to have an advisor. The university argued that Malik never used a grievance procedure allowed in the handbook and that missing this season would have no effect on his chances to reach the NFL. But for now, the judge gave Richmond two weeks to get on the field and play. Malik? Malik, how's it feel? No. So why, why ask now then if you knew they have a bye week next week, you're losing a week of eligibility for this TRO? Um, you know, we filed our papers as soon as we could. In granting the injunctive relief, the judge noted that it was time he could never get back on the field if he eventually wins the lawsuit. Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News.